What is going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today then I've got three really cool niches to show you guys. All of these then are about to get more and more popular just because of the time of year it is, the kind of things change, that are changing like the weather. So if you are in two minds then about what kind of niche to go into, you haven't started your store yet, then one of these niches is definitely worth considering. Now before we get into the video then, as always, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one call with me on this video. All you've got to do then to enter is simply like the video and leave a comment down below and then make sure you subscribe as well because the winner will be announced in tomorrow's video. And if you commented on my previous video yesterday then, make sure you stay tuned till the end where the winner will be announced. And that being said then guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get straight into it. What's going on then guys? So niche number one then is camping. Um, now the structure of this video actually is gonna be, I'm gonna show you three niches, but after we go through why camping is going to be such a good niche, I'm just going to show you all the different ways to find products in a particular niche just quickly. Um, and then that way, you know what niche to go into and you know how to find the products as well. So camping then is the first niche. Whenever I do some research into a particular niche or product, I want to know if there's a demand for it, whether there's whether it's currently on a downward spiral or on an upward spiral, because obviously we want to catch things on the upwards because then the demand is going to increase. So for example, if we were to sell within the camping niche today and we were able to and um, able to make say like a 20, 30% profit margin, demand is only going to increase. So therefore our profit margin should increase as well in theory. Now, as you can see then, we're looking on Google Trends at the term camping, it's the UK. In fact, let's put this to worldwide as well. Um, 2004 to present and as you can see there's clearly spikes up and down all the way throughout the year and currently we're in March so if we just take a random spike for instance you can see March is here so we're kind of at the upward trend now so now would be the perfect time to get involved in the camping niche and then as you can see it continues to grow and grow and grow all the way up till probably the middle of the summer July August and then you've probably got a good few months after summer as well so if I can just highlight this bit, August and September will probably be pretty good months as well to sell in as well. And then this continues throughout the year. So as you can see, um, the, the peak again is July, July, August, July, August. And this is just repeating itself every single year. So now is a great time to get into camping. You can see as well where the demand is well, which are the most popular countries. So as long as you can ship e-packet to those particular countries, then of course, why not advertise in them as well? So we can see for instance then that the Netherlands is the most popular country for the search term of camping. We know that e-packet ships there. So definitely a country worth considering. So I've got a lot more content in fact coming on countries like this in and around Europe that you don't hear a lot of people speak about. Um, so if you wanted, if you do want to see a lot more videos on that kind of thing and how to advertise in those countries effectively, um, then let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but just in case you're not sure then what countries ePacket sent to, then a simple Google search, you'll be able to find a list like this and it gives you every single country that ePacket will go to. And we can clearly see Netherlands is on there. So the, other th the only other thing you need to check then is whether they actually speak English there or a good percentage good percentage of them do. Otherwise, we're gonna be advertising to people who won't even understand our ad. So again, a simple Google search will tell us that the Netherlands has the highest English proficiency in the world. Some nine in 10 Dutch people speak English as a second language. Therefore, advertising to the Netherlands in Facebook in English writing is not gonna be a problem for us. Another pretty cool thing then that you can use Google Trends for is this related queries box at the bottom. You can scroll through all the different kind of other popular terms that are related to camping and every now and again it will actually give you like different product ideas that you can then go and search on AliExpress or how I'm just about to show you now. So before you leave Google Trends, definitely something to check out just in case it does give you another lead um, on a potential product. So niche one is the camping then. When it comes to finding products in a niche, I'm just gonna show you kind of like four or five different ways that I go about doing it, but I'm not gonna go into crazy amounts of detail on each and every method, just because it would make the video too long. But if you do say want one particular video on one particular ones of these methods, if that makes sense, then just make sure you leave a comment down below. So I tend to always have AliExpress open then. I'll just start with the niche and make sure I filter it by orders. That way it's gonna tell me which ones are the most popular in that niche. And then when I use all these different other methods I'm about to go through, then I can cross reference it against AliExpress because if I find a product, for example, on Facebook and I see it in the bestsellers when it comes to AliExpress as well, then it's the chances 
of a product showing up on two or three different platforms and not being a winner um, is quite slim. So that's why when it comes to doing product research, you always want to have loads of different methods that you kind of cross -re cross reference against each other. That way, it's all about kind of like building up a bigger picture of one thing. If you only take one website as kind of like your sole piece of information about whether a product is going to be a winner or not, then you've got less chance. Whereas if you see that product on three, four, five different platforms and it's showing evidence, then you've got a better chance of it being a winner, if that makes sense. So anyway, the first method I'm going to show you is on Facebook. It's dead simple, quick and easy to do. Just simply start with a niche and then you want to experiment with different words that you might see in an ad. So typically I'll use free shipping and this is going to show me all the videos because I've filtered by videos um, that have the words camping free shipping in. So just scroll down, look for the ones with a pretty decent amount of views so we can see this watch here. Just turn that down. We can see that this watch here has nearly a million views, which is quite a considerable amount. The chances of somebody pushing a post to that many views um, without it making them some money is pretty slim. But in fact, they've got a short URL. So I always like to show this trick in my videos just because not many people know you can do it. But if you just copy the URL, put it into your bar and put a plus sign on the end, it's going to tell you how many clicks that short URL has had. So again, it gives you a better idea of how popular this particular post is or this particular product. Like something's not going to get 40,000 clicks and not get any orders unless their site is really bad. But again, that's something we can check out. So if we just click on their link, then their site looks pretty decent. We can see they're selling it for 42 pounds and then we can kind of reverse engineer to see how many money they're making as well. So if they have 40,000 clicks, if we just work on say like a 5% conversion rate, then we're looking at about 2000 orders, um, selling the products at about 40 pounds. So you can do the math. That's a pretty decent amount of money. So we know then that this product standalone is pretty decent. Another thing you can do then is use this website here. So thief.co, um, basically it's a group of people that have like put this website together. Every product on here is linked to AliExpress. So you can click on a particular product and it will take you to it on AliExpress. And they just simply go searching through AliExpress for like pretty cool products, post them on here. And then you can see that people like vote them up or down or not. So you can, it kind of draws your attention to the products that are getting the most attention and which are the most popular ones. So again, it's a good place then just to find different product ideas. You can scroll through, um, look at how many upvotes each product is getting and just try and find one that stands out because if it stands out to you, then it's gonna stand out to other people as well. Um, and there might be a clear potential winner as well. You might see one of these products just has a significant amount of upvotes in comparison um, to the others. And you can use this site for any niche as well. So at the top here, I've put camping in, that's why these are all camping products, but you've got all these different categories down the left that you can just click on. And again, it's just gonna show you some more awesome product ideas. So there's actually none, oh no, that's camping within the toy niche. Let's get rid of that. Let's go for toys. So yeah, it gives you lots of different toy ideas that you can try. So that's number two or three. And then my final one that I'm gonna show you in this video, probably my favorite one as well, because it's really quick, easy to do, and it just takes you to best-selling products in any niche, pretty much. So just put the niche into a Google search bar, followed by .myshopify.com. And this is gonna show you all the different camping stores then that are currently using Shopify as a platform. Now, obviously not every single store is gonna be drop shipping. So what you wanna do is just open them up, have a look at what products they're selling and then go back to AliExpress and see if you can find them on there. So I've just opened up three then just to show you guys as an example and make sure you have the commerce inspector tool open so you can go straight to their best selling products. And once it loads, so they've got a bit of white space there. And once it loads, then it's just going to give you a list of all the products that are currently selling and pretty much just all the information you need. Like if you want to go into the camping niche now, you know which products sell. Um, you know how to kind of make your store look. You know what product, what price to sell them at. Pretty much all the information is there that you need. And you can do this again with lots of different stores. So best selling. Um, and what you'll find as well is that when you start going through lots of different stores, then the same kind of products start popping up. So again, there's more proof there. And that's what you want to look for. You want to look for proof that a product is actually selling really well. 
and then this third and final one doesn't look like they're in business anymore. So they're all the different product research methods that I wanted to show you in this video. Um, like I said, if you want more detail on any of these, just make sure you leave a comment down below. And that being said, then let's move into niche number two. So niche number two then is actually one I sell in myself. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys later on in the video about how to actually come up with different niche ideas. But basically it boils down to think about what you do yourself as a person now that the weather is changing like I love to play golf and now that the weather is getting better then I find myself playing golf more and more often so so will other people as well and Google Trends kind of backs this up as we can see again there's spikes um, kind of around March time we're kind of sort of a third of the way through the spike if you like so it's only going to get more and more popular so again definitely another niche to check out make sure you go through the related queries and see what kind of products if any are are kind of highlighted um, and then again you can go through all the different product research methods I've just shown you but just to go and kind of give you guys an idea because if you don't play golf then it's going to be really difficult to pick product ideas that you know that will sell so personally then coming from me anything that's going to help you play better that's essentially what anybody's goal is when it comes to golf is to do better so anything that's going to help somebody do that is going to be a tool that's going to that they will be interested in essentially another thing as well is anything that's going to make somebody laugh or something quite like comical like you can get exploding golf balls things like that because golf is a sociable sport so anything that they can share with their friends um is going to do really well on Facebook because it's a social media platform. If you can get that viral motion going, getting people tagging their friends, sharing it, then that's all just going to add up and contribute towards a successful product. So moving on to the third and final niche for this video then, and it is the fishing niche. Again, Google Trends backs this up. As the weather starts to increase, more and more people are spending time outdoors. So think of other niches where people are spending time outdoors, and these are gonna be great niches to start selling products in because demand is gonna be increasing, increasing, increasing. Um, and you can always double check this, of course, on Google Trends as well. So let's just check out worldwide. Um, and we can see that again there's those spikes those are increases so there's going to be a demand and it's going to be increasing as well at least for the next few months so if you haven't decided on a niche yet definitely choose something where the demand is only going to be increasing because then it's only going to become easier and easier to sell products within that niche as time goes on so again i don't need to show you these bits um Again, I think you get the gist by now, um, but just to kind of highlight how I would go about selling in the fishing niche is that, again, I, I don't really do fishing that much off now, but I used to when I was younger. And one of the things I remember is that there's just a ton of different equipment that you need. You need to buy a reel, you need to buy hooks, you need to buy pellets, you need to buy lines, you need to buy just there's so many different things. So when it comes to fishing, then bundle orders is definitely the way to go. So the way I would play it then is I would definitely go after the beginner market because when it comes to getting started in fishing, it can be quite overwhelming because there is so much gear and you don't necessarily know what you wanna buy. So if you can come up with like a bundle offer that is like a beginner's package that everything they need to essentially just buy it and then go fishing, then I definitely think that's the way forward. And there's definitely a lot of money to be made as well. So when no everybody knows that the profit margins in drop shipping can be quite can be quite tight so any opportunity to increase average order value is always a good thing and because there is so many different products within the fishing niche and it can kind of stem into camping as well like people might take a tent with them and stay for a long time or they might even stay overnight there's just a, a vast majority of different products you can sell so things like upsells cross sales uh, within an initial bundle offer so for example this line here um, is like nearly seven dollars you could probably sell that for close to twenty dollars if not maybe a bit more so you could bundle that with some hooks the right weights um, you can bundle it with a reel um, different fishing laws as well and then all of a sudden like a your average order is now say a hundred dollars rather than twenty twenty five dollars so you're just gonna be making a lot more money and if you can obviously make sure you're sourcing it from the same supplier as well therefore you're only gonna pay one carriage charge so that being said then guys, I think that pretty much just wraps up the video. Hopefully you guys are still watching and if you are, hopefully you enjoyed the video as well. Um, if you did, then all I ask is you leave the video a like. And if you wanna be entered into the giveaway, then of course, please don't forget to leave a comment down below. 
And that being said then guys, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. Um, so here we are then, we got, I think it was our 50 comments, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you very much. It really does mean a lot. So please, please, please do keep it coming. Um, so I'm just gonna take the URL then, head over to our random comment picker, get YouTube comments, 37 unique, um, and click start and we'll start the raffle and see who the winner is. So winner of the previous video then was Wesley, who put great info, thanks, so thanks very much. Um, make sure you reach out then on any of my social medias, uh, all the video links, all the video links, all the social media links are in the video description, so reach out um, and we'll get that call arranged for you. And that being said then guys, thanks for tuning in, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you all tomorrow.